obstacle sports worldwide are like many of the other sports. An example would be, say, athletics. Athletics as a sport has uh, nine or 12 disciplines and in each discipline are events. Most people don't appreciate that the events are not the sport. Uh, collectively, the events are. So if you look at the athletics, 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, steeplechase, cross country, mountain running, uh, goes on and on and on. They're events within the sport and the disciplines. OCR is the same. Most people do in OCR about a 5K to a five mile cross country style event. That's what most people do. Just like running, most people do a 5K on the road. But most people watch 100 meters. It's the same in obstacle. Most people watch American Ninja Warrior. That would be the most watched thing, but the least participated. Obstacle is exactly the same. So, in obstacle world, about a billion people worldwide are watching the American Ninja Warrior style events, uh, but very few people are doing them. On the other hand, almost everyone is doing something like uh, a Spartan Sprint, or one of the other of the hundreds of events out there, thousands of events under the hundreds of brands, that's what they do. We do exactly the same in obstacle sports. We have obstacle competitions which are ninja competitions, they're timed competitions in ninja gyms. We have a World Series over 100 uh, qualifying events. Then we have Ninja Race, and that's where it's head to head racing, looks a lot like American Ninja Warrior ninja versus ninja and then we have 100 meters OCR which is what we have here today 100 meters is again it's a head-to-head -head race 100 meters uh, any proficient obstacle course racer can do that then we go to 400 more running same number of obstacles run obstacle run obstacle that looks a lot more like people are familiar with then you go to 5k uh, or you can go up like 1,500, 3,000, 5,000 or 5K and on and on and on and on. And that's the continuum of obstacle events within the sport.